told you you so extra But I know I'm the same Love me in spite of my trauma Give me what I need instead of the drama Welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl with iStyle, my style. And welcome to my fall coffee bar for this year. Um, today's video is part of a collaboration that is being hosted by two wonderful sisters here on YouTube. And that is Kimberly from A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis and Kenya from Kenya's Decor Corner it is their seasonal fall coffee beverage bar collaboration. So I'm giving you a different view this year. In the past, I have shown you my coffee station that I have on the other side of my kitchen. And yes, I have two coffee stations. So this one is my newest coffee station setup, and I absolutely love it. We previously had a Keurig and we got rid of that and we got this Nespresso, which we are absolutely loving. And I felt like this side of the kitchen was perfect for it because you guys know I decorate in black and white. So I wanted the black and chrome one. And then on the other side, it's more of a white aesthetic. So let's start with how I have styled my coffee bar for the season. Again, it's very simple, going for very simple modern looks for my home for fall. And I am decorating with these little guys here in the kitchen. You guys know I found these little owls while I was out Goodwill hunting and they were brown on the bottom. Not my aesthetic so I did paint them black as you can see and now they go really well here in my kitchen. I am also loving brass this year and I just love the warmth that it's bringing to the space. And so I have the little owl sitting on a tray that I picked up from Amazon. I want to say it was like $12 or $14. Not a bad price at all. And I absolutely love how it looks here. And I am still um, using these candlesticks that I picked up also while I was out Goodwill hunting. They were also brown and I painted them black. And I think they look really well here in this little vignette. I am using this little acorn. I think I picked this up from Joann's. And inside the acorn is where we store our Nespresso pods. So I thought this was a really cute way of hiding the pods and still keep my kitchen nice and clean and give it a simple aesthetic. This menu board I picked up from the Target Dollar Spot many years ago. And I keep it here because I just like the aesthetic of how it looks. Don't really put menu plans on it, but I do just love it here. And then I added our other Target dollar spot find, which is this little sign that talks about autumn. I displayed this last year in my other coffee vignette and I just absolutely love it because it describes fall perfectly. And then on this side, I have my Nespresso and my milk frother, as you can see here. Now, these containers I picked up from, I want to say, oh gosh, where did I pick these up? At home? No. Does it say? I think I picked these up from Crate and Barrel or William Sonoma Home or, oh, guys, I forget. But anyway, the tops were brown. 
I painted them black to give it the aesthetic that I like for my home. And this one is still storing some of the pods that we have for the Keurig. We do still have um, another Keurig, so I just left the pods in here until we deplete those, and then we'll add Nespresso pods to that as well. And then I love a good hot tea, so I have just added these little spoons. They are lemon and orange blossom flavored. I picked those up from Amazon, but you can also find them at your local Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I see them there quite often. And this little cup here is from the Dollar Tree. And I just like it that says cappuccino. Just a very modern aesthetic and I absolutely love the look. So I want to thank Kimberly in Kenya for hosting this collaboration. It is always so much fun to participate. I will leave a link for the ladies' channels down below, as well as a link of the playlist of all the participants. And even though my coffee bar is simple, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. And if so, please give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you become a part of the I Style My Style family if you have not already hit that subscribe button. Oh, I forgot to mention these canisters are thrifted and these were part of a DIY that I did using Totally Dazzled um, products. So if you missed that video, I will leave a link for it in the description box below. And normally I keep candy in them for my grandchildren, but we're trying to cut down on the sweet. So there's not anything in them currently, but I am going to add some like biscotti and some little cookies that you can have with your coffee just to finish out the look. So yeah, I love the aesthetic and I hope you do as well. So let's take one last look and I hope to see you in the next one.